Teaching cosmetology is wonderful. I love teaching cosmetology, but having the opportunity to teach at a place with such a rich culture and such a rich history kind of adds to the enjoyment to be a part of, you know, these kids' lives. So your tools should fit in the bottom of your, of your middle section just like it fits in the top. So what inspired this program is there's, I'm in what is called the Career and Technical Education Department. This program has been in existence for about 38 years and it has always been a staple of West Charlotte High School. When my grandmother passed away about two years ago, I used to always play in her hair, like comb her hair, wash her hair, et cetera, ever since I was younger. So once she passed away, I kind of found it in myself, like this is something that I wanted to do and continue to do. If they finish with their 1,200 hours, they could take their state board and they would be considered a cosmetology apprentice. And so um, their apprentice license will give them the opportunity, that, again, they can go to CPCC and finish or they can work under a licensed stylist that, you know, for the other 300 hours and take the other part of their state board. The most interesting, I would say, is just learning different hairstyles, how they operate, and what to do for each hairstyle, because it's, it's deeper than just styling some hair. You gotta learn, like, about the scalp, the deepness of it. And the most hardest was just really trying not to be a perfectionist with everything and just understanding, like, I'm not gonna get it 100% all the time. It's gonna take my practice. When the students here at West Charlotte enter the health science program, the initial course that they will start out will be Health Science One, and that's the course that will provide them information about the anatomy and physiology of the human body as it relates to disease. Once they master that class and move on to Health Science Two, this course introduces them to the structural components of the healthcare, where they then can receive such certifications such as Stop the Bleed, OSHA certification, and CPR certification. Once they complete that program, then they move to Nursing Fundamentals, and this is the course that prepares them for the basic career to become a certified nursing assistant. Some things that inspired me to pursue a career in health science is mainly my family because I have a lot of uh, family in healthcare and just seeing how they work and seeing like what they gain from it is just um, pretty inspiring. So I want to pursue a career similar to that. What I enjoy the most about teaching this program, it gives the students the opportunity to learn um, different things about the human body, and it also prepares them for a career to become a nursing assistant. The CNA position is a job that is the basic foundation of any healthcare setting. Without strong CNAs, healthcare would not be able to move because the CNA's job is to basically be the eyes for the doctors and the nurses. And this is a program that will provide the students the opportunity to have a career and even move on to nursing school, go into medical school, because we, they will get those clinical hours that they need. I'm grateful for this opportunity, for the exposure, for our program, you know, being seen in a, a positive light and for the opportunity to let people know that there are students in high school that, you know, are driven and um, are, are focused and have a passion for something, even at a young age, that can set their life, you know, in motion. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.